Would you gamble your life? Would I gamble my life? Yeah, someone says they'll give you ten million dollars to play dollars to play Russian roulette. Would you do that? Sure, I, I, I gamble my life. Yeah, for ten million dollars, sure, so I take the risk. One chance in six that you would lose your life. One chance in six for ten million dollars. I gave my life for ten million dollars. Okay, what about two bullets in the in the cylinder? That's one chance in three. I gave my life for ten million dollars. Sure, for ten million dollars or ten million bucks. Yeah. Three bullets in the cylinder. Fifty percent chance. One chance in two. You spin the barrel, pull the trigger with a gun to your head. If you win, you get ten million dollars. If you lose. Your brains get blown out. Would you take that risk? Yeah, I take that risk. Sure, I take that risk. You're serious? 50, 50, yeah, for ten million dollars, ten million bucks, man. You know, you make that in a lifetime. You're not going to have a lifetime if the bullets are in the cylinder. Oh, that's a risk you got to take. That's how I look at it. Do you believe in heaven and in hell? Oh, sure, I do. Heaven and hell, yeah. You see, I even got. You see right here? Look, I got Jesus on my chest. So, where do you think you're going when you die? I'm going to hell. I got a place right for me, right next to the, uh, right next to the furnace, shoveling coal for eternity. I'm bad. So what have you done to deserve hell? What I've done to say, I did a lot of things. I did a lot of things. Such as? Yeah, such as. Huh. Are you ashamed? Who me? No, I'm not ashamed. So this, this, this is the bad guy right here. This is the last time we'll see a bad guy like this ever again. So have you lied? Huh? Have you lied? Lied? Yeah, told lies. Oh sure. So told what does lie. that make you? Huh? What are you called if you tell lies? Storyteller. Yeah, what's the right term? If I tell a lie, what would you call me? You're a storyteller. It begins with L. What? You're a liar. Have you ever stolen something? Oh, yeah, I stole it. What does that make you? A thief. Have you ever used God's name in vain? Oh, all the time. It's called blasphemy, using God's name as a cuss word. Now listen like to this. You know? Yeah. Jesus said whoever looks upon a woman to lust after her has committed adultery already with her in his heart. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Oh, man, all the time, every day, every second. Right now I'm looking at women. See that? Oh, look at these. So, by your own admission, you're a lying, thieving, blasphemous, adulterate heart. If you died in your sins and God judges you by the Ten Commandments, do you think you'd be innocent or guilty? I'm guilty. Oh, guilty. Guilty as charged. So you would go to hell? Sure. Now, does that concern you? Concern me? I ah, burnt forever. Burnt for eternity. I know I'm going to burn. I'm going yeah, to... but we know that you've said that, but does it concern you? No. So you've got no concern about your eternal salvation? I don't care. You don't value your life? I don't care. Would you sell one of your eyes for a million dollars? One of my eyes for a million dollars? Or sell one of my eyes for a million bucks? No, that I won't do. Why not? Huh? Not for a million bucks. I only okay, got two ten, eyes. Ten million for both. I can't see? Nah, I love my eyes. I love that. That's, that's what you got is your eyes. If you can't think, see... Think of this. Your eyes are merely the windows of your soul. Your life looks out these windows. Jesus said you're to despise the value of your eyes compared to the value of your soul. He said this, what right. shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Man, your life is so precious to you. If you value your eyes, how much more is your life worth? And you're saying, I don't care if I lose my soul. I don't care if I go to hell. Of course you care. You value your life. <laughs> you know what God did for you so you wouldn't have to go to hell? Oh, sure. What did he do? He hung on the cross. He took your punishment on the cross. Right. And what do you think of that? Hey, that's Jesus right there. He did everything. He saved the world. He's, that's it. Jesus is the man. So do you know how to be saved yourself? Huh? Do you know how to be saved? How to be saved? Who's going to save, who's going to save me? Jesus can save you. Do you know what you should do to be saved? What's that? You don't know? No. Well, this is what the Bible says. God commands all men everywhere to repent because he has appointed a day in which he'll judge the world in righteousness. God commands you to turn from your sins because he doesn't want to give you justice. He doesn't want you to end up in hell. And he can forgive you because of what Jesus did. If you repent, turn from all sin and put your trust in Jesus, God says, I'll forgive you every sin you've ever committed and grant you everlasting life. If I were to offer you a fistful of diamonds or a glass of cool, clear water, which would you choose? The diamonds, obviously. Who in his right mind wouldn't? But if you found yourself crawling through a desert, your lips are blistered, your tongue is swollen, you're dying of thirst, and I was to offer you a glass of cool, clear water or a fistful of diamonds, you'd despise the diamonds and say, give me the water, lest I die. That's what's known as circumstantial priorities. Your priorities change 
according to your circumstances. If there was a way for you to get eternal life, would you be interested? Of course you would. Anyone in his right mind would. God is offering you eternal life. But right now, perhaps you're not interested. You prefer the sparkling diamonds of your sin. Well, on the day of judgment, your circumstances will radically change. You'll cry out, God, save me. But then it will be too late. I once was lost in darkest night, yet thought I knew the way, the sin that promised joy and life had led me to